Hey you guys, Matt Allen, Tim Little, welcome back to Tactical Bass, and we are back down in Mexico today. We're at Lake Bacharach with Pro Bass Adventures. The guys were nice enough to lend us a bass boat so that we could take you out on the water with us today and have a great time trying to catch some of these Mexico bass. All right, so we came down here this time of year trying to find a fall bite. And even though it's 95 degrees out and the water temp is high 80s, low 90s, uh, we actually found the bass pushing bait in the backs of these coves, just like they do at home. Uh, we found this cove, this cove in particular, the fish have pushed the bait all the way to the back. You can see these birds behind us. Uh, but this cove has bigger shad in it. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, we're going to bring you guys along as we try and catch some of these Mexico bass blowing up on shad. Let's go. Hey, Matt, what are you doing? So these fish, they're blowing up all around us and we need to be fishing. But we're in Mexico. You never know. Most of these fish are like one to five pounders blowing up. You know, the big ones usually aren't up chasing bait. But because we're in Mexico, you just never know when a 10 or 12 pounder could bite. So we're watching all these fish blow up. We're switching out hardware as fast as we can go. We're putting on stronger split rings, owner 3X treble hooks on a red eye shad so that if we do get a monster bite, we stand a chance. It's go time now. We came off. Very cool. Even though these fish are blown up on all this bait, sometimes it can be very frustrating because they're chasing the real thing and it's hard to get bit on an artificial lure. But uh, changed it up and I went with uh, an underspin with a little flash on it and the first cast caught one.
Yeah, when we got here, it wasn't really a morning, or it was still dark a little bit, right, with cloud cover? Yeah. As soon as that sun po poked out, it started going crazy. Just strong. <laughs> nice fish. He choked. Look at that. Matt and I were just talking. When we got here, there wasn't a lot of activity on the surface. There was still some cl cloud cover, really dark. As soon as that sun popped out, just for a few minutes, it got crazy. Bombs were dropping everywhere. And for the last 10 minutes or so, the sun's been blocked out by the, by the clouds. So we're hoping once this group of clouds passes, that uh, it'll be lights out again. Mississippi. <laughs> oh, it's a good one. Is it? It's a better one. Nice. Can't use it to under my line. Nice fish. You want net? That's awesome. They're still alive. Absolutely choked that swim bait. As soon as the sun came out. Ooh. Oh! That was amazing. That egret caught a shad that was jumping. Oh, really? Yeah. That was amazing. There's one right there. Oh. Square This is the mayhem we wanted you guys to see. You know, people come down to Mexico to catch giant bass. It's obviously what we're here to do too. But there's also just plain incredible fishing. Huge numbers of fish, all quality fish, and they're aggressive. So what these fish are doing, we're out here on this big flat, and there's thousands of shad. And what they do, they wait for that sun. I don't know if it's a visibility thing, but they wait for that sun and they push that ball to the surface and they just destroy them. And uh, we're fishing down through those bait balls to try and bring those fish up and eat the bait. You know, a lot of the times the bigger ones are gonna be down below eating the dying fish that get, you know, hurt or wounded in the mayhem. But uh, so much fun and uh, it's, it's a blast. Oh, <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Not even close yet, is he? <laughs> nice one. That's the fish we came here for. <sighs> <laughs> they just fell out. This is why you come down here to Mexico. You know, we are having a blast. There's so many fish being caught out here chasing these shad balls. Uh, this fish was a little bit deeper. A little bit deeper. We've talked about it in previous videos, how some of the bigger fish stay below the schooling fish. And uh, that one bit right on cue, that five inch swim bait. One thing about being down here, You've got to be prepared for everything. So we brought a lot of tackle with us, you know, jigs, A-rigs, a bunch of different swim bait heads, underspins, chatter baits, swim jigs, because you just don't know what you're going to encounter. But if you bring a little bit of everything, you're sure to have something that's gonna work. These fish just go crazy. Uh, and then of course, the lodge had all sorts of stuff anyway. We probably could have shown up with nothing and been just fine, but <laughs> that's not us. Poor tackle addicts. We brought all sorts of things. I think we each brought like one change of clothes and 40 pounds of tackle, but uh, priorities, right? I was pulling that out of the water. They pull so hard. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> so, <stupid. laughs> so much fun. Thank you, big mama. You're free to go. Throwing a little bit bigger square bill than normal. It's a six cents, I think it's called the mini mag. We're gonna link you all the baits down in the video description, but I think that's what that one's called. But the bait's a little bit bigger. There's thread fin and gizzard in here, ranging from just tiny. The other school of fish we found, they're eating little tiny baits, harder to imitate. Up here they're eating like two, a five inch thread fin and then like six or seven inch gizzards so it's a better quality of fish eating a better quality of bait but we're upsizing our offering tim's throwing a 4.8 kitek on that heavier matt allen had that three quarter ounce head to get down and stay down and run through those fish probably the most interesting part of this whole thing is for all this activity we cannot get a topwater bite We've yet to see a single school of bait come to the top. The bait is staying down. 
what we see is the bass get a single shad and chase it to the top and then blow up until they catch that one shad and then they go back down. So it's very hard to throw top water at those fish because it's one bass dialed on one bait fish. It's a lot easier to fan cast down deeper and get these fish to react. These fish up here seem to like that squirrel better. Yeah. I slowed it down. <laughs> it's coming at me. <laughs> Get tired of flying back and forth. It's getting late in the morning. He got his workout already. Cloud cover. <laughs> Golly! Oh, it's a good one. Yes, please. <laughs> Got him. Oh. Ooh. He ate that square wheel right there. Oh, man. Ate that square wheel with like three or four feet out. So awesome. Oh, I'm having a blast. This is exactly what we hoped we would get to show you guys. Oh, schools of fish, big fish. This is the hottest water temp I have ever seen where bass are still aggressively chasing bait. And they are aggressive. So fun. Yeah, thank you, big girl. Oh, that was fun. You all recovered? You ready to be free? Go ahead, get out of here. <laughs> oh. Did you guys see how big that blow up was? <laughs> Have a good one. This is a big one. I think. Nice fish. Oh, yeah, that wasn't small. Change baits off and point with the, the lip. Coming in.
Jeez. Really? Right off that wall again. Did not Whoa! Work. Good one. I don't know. It feels like a good one. Let's go ahead and get a net just in case. You just can't tell, but he took line twice. No go on that net. Good one. Hey, 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 he got bigger, oh, what a morning, what a fish, we have absolutely massacred him this morning on almost everything we've thrown, oh, awesome. Num num num. <laughs> Choked it. Awesome. All right, guys. I think that's probably as good a fish as any to wrap it up on. It is, what, nine in the morning? We've been out here for just shy of two hours and just massacred them. Huge thank you to Pro Bass Adventures. We're staying in their lodge. They let us borrow a boat. Uh, normally you fish with guides. You wanna explain all that? Yeah, normally we, you know, anybody books a trip, they come down, they have top-notch guides that takes them out and shows them the lake. Matt's a full-time guide, and and one of our biggest things with, with Tactical is be able to break down lakes by ourselves without any outside information, outside help. And sometimes we struggle and sometimes we blitz them, but that's all part of the game, and it, it's just putting those puzzle pieces together and figuring it out. Today, you know, we found this, this this bait ball back in this giant cove and just absolutely annihilated them, you know, well into the mid to high 30 pound range for our best five and tons and tons of fish. <laughs> so, so many fish. It's, it's so cool to be able to jump on a plane, fly down here, have a great time, possibly catch a teener and uh, catch a lot of fish in the, in the meantime. It's awesome, guys. If you get the chance, this is something you've got to do. Uh, down in the video description, we're going to link you all the baits. Tim was smashing them on a Kitek and a Rage Swimmer on a three quarter ounce Matt Allen head to get down deep under the bait. And then later on, I got him going on a square bill, got a couple big ones that way. And then we caught him on a bunch of other baits. We'll link you all the baits down in the video description. We'll link you Pro Bass's information as well if this is something you want to do. Come down here, relax, eat amazing food. And catch a pile of fish. Couple things real quick. The way we are fishing these, it's very important to get directional changes and pauses uh, with both the swim bait and the crankbait. True. I was hopping and a lot of times I get the I get the bite on the, the directional change and Matt was getting most of his bites on the pause. Yep. Thank you. Yep. I was gonna miss that. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and we'll talk to you soon. See you guys.